Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW 5 Series Generation F10, F11. This one is between year 2010 and 2017. And if you need to remove rear door panel guys, step with us, we'll explain how to do that step by step. We'll demonstrate on the rear right side. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Another thing, if you need to buy any parts tools, for good price, quick shipping, and you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So now, first thing, that trim piece needs to come out. It's a little bit tricky. Make sure to stand till the end. If you do it wrong, you can cause quite a bit of damage. Here, you will have the tube lightening underneath, so do not pry there. I'll come, okay, in the corner a little bit. Okay, let me see on which side I need to actually come, guys. Okay. <laughs> not to cause damage so i need to get a little bit of light okay to analyze everything to make sure that okay we don't cause damage because uh those things are fragile guys okay it came out on this side now right here okay it looks like okay there is one clip right here guys what we were supposed to do okay this one was supposed to actually come in a different way and i'll explain the correct way for that right here there is one metal clip that you need to compress okay that metal clip right here you see you need to press it in to release it what we were supposed to do guys let me explain we were supposed to start on this side first then you get to the metal clip release it and then that piece is supposed to come last okay in an angle like that now we were able to do it it did not break okay but actually it could so the correct way to do is okay is to start on this side push the metal thing then come in an angle slide to the front okay and come out otherwise okay we'll damage that trim here is a lighting tube that's okay really guys okay really gentle and if you pry on it you can easily crack it now we need to remove that cover here and here there is a there is clips that can actually break unfortunately so we'll try our best not to okay let me see okay one popped out that one usually pops out really easy on the back you have lightning tube again here So I'm trying my best. Not to break things. I'm trying to release the clip if I can. And let's see. I just don't want to crack this one too. I broke a front one in the past. Okay, this one came out. Now we come to the top and it comes out. Let me see if I broke any, no. Okay, this clip right here and one on top, all of them are good okay one right there one here so we saved it this time guys okay now here okay let's see if we have any screws we actually might have not even need to remove that one on the rear panel the front ones we do let me analyze everything we'll see but here we have one hidden screw that we need to remove it looks like on the top we don't have a screw so if that's the case you will not need to remove the trim piece perfect this one is out now let's go ahead and explain okay what else uh, we need to do we have multiple clips now here so we'll need to get a clip remover tool 
to a smaller one than a bigger one. Okay, and this one is extremely tight, guys. It's extremely tight clips that we need to pop loose somehow. So let's see where I can actually start those things. If I can start on the bottom. <laughs> I have a really hard time getting that thing loose. So let me see if we'll be able to pop that thing loose. If the door panel has been removed one time in the past, actually it will come out easier. <coughs> Let me get two actually big prank twos and we'll continue. So we got more prank twos and what I'm going to do, I'll try to come here guys, okay. Okay. Once you pop the first clip loose, things go easy. And you can at that point start popping them with your hands. Okay. Now we need to come to the top, pull it out. Okay, just like that. Now on the clips guys. Let me explain where they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double clip somewhere. The rubber gommets, if they're stuck on the door, pull them out and install them on the clip. Those will prevent vibrations, okay? That's why other cars, they will have less clips. If you broke any clips, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy replacement clips from. But I'll go ahead and install those because later, I'll forget, things will fall loose and then we'll have a rattling noise. So that's how you guys remove the door panel. You can see if you need to uh, just get it out at that point, all you have to do, just disconnect the uh, cable here for the interior door handle, which is by the way, really easy. There is one tooth here and pull it out. Okay, yeah. at that point, all we need to do is just disconnect the wires. Hopefully the video will be Helpful to any of you that need to remove the panel, guys. Remove the panel on BMW 5 Series. Thank you for watching and see you next time.